Hello, it's Elder here, and I'm in beautiful Shavs, Portugal. Shavs is known for a lot of amazing things, and one of the things that they are best known for is their cured ham, also known as presunto. On this trip, I brought a couple of friends with me, and I wanted them to taste the presunto, and one of the places that offers the best selection is called Tasca das Caldas. So I brought them here, and while they were enjoying the tasty presunto, I was speaking with the owner, and he explained to me how his knife was pretty dull. And uh, these presunto cutting knives are very special, and uh, have one specific job, and that is to cut these cured hams. So, since I do have a Wicked Edge 120 here in Portugal, I offer to sharpen his presunto knife. He graciously took me up on that offer, and I told him I'd be back the next day with my Wicked Edge, and here we are. Now, to be honest, uh, once I was handed the knife, I noticed that it was a very long blade, uh, fillet-type knife, and I did have some experience with my fishing fillet knives, but uh, to be honest with you, nothing with this long of a blade. But I decided to give it a try anyway. So as you can imagine, I approached this task in a very cautious and slow manner. I mean, think about it. This isn't even my knife. It's this person who was gracious enough to uh, let me film here and sharpen his knife. And the last thing I wanted to do was to ruin his knife. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and proceeded with caution. When he initially handed me the knife, I went ahead, checked the blade, and it was certainly dull. And uh, when it comes to presunto, uh, or this uh, cured ham, the thinner that you can cut these pieces of ham, the better that it tastes. So uh, a wicked sharp knife was something that he definitely needed, not just for show, but just to operate from day to day. Since this presunto knife was a bit dull, I decided to start out with the 400 grit, and work my way up through the thousand grit stone. For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to get into too much detail on the sharpening process. I've made various videos in the past explaining in more detail the Wicked Edge sharpening process. And if you're interested in seeing those videos, I will link them in the description below. So as usual, I went ahead and used the marker to be able to find the correct angle to be able to sharpen this knife. Once I got my Wicked Edge 120 set to the correct angle, I went ahead and got started with the 400 grit stone. As I explained earlier, this knife has a very long blade, so I took my time with the 400 stone, making sure that everything was good, making sure that everything was tuned and was staying in place. After a few minutes of using the 400 grit, I went up to the 600 grit and continued the work. Always remember to clean up the stones, clean your blade in between switching out the stones so that you don't contaminate anything and you keep everything nice and clean so that your stones continue to last a very long time and you get the most out of your Wicked Edge system. After spending some time with the 600 grit stone, I moved up to the 800 grit stone and continued the work once again diligently and cautiously. At this point in time, the blade was getting nice and sharp. I felt that everything was working really well, and it was time to move up to the thousand grit stone, which was what I was going to be finishing with on this particular task. So not only did I have enough pressure on me with uh, utilizing this longer blade that I wasn't used to, but it also felt like I had an audience People were walking by, asking questions about the system. Customers were walking in and out. Mm -hmm. Everybody was curious, asking me questions, and of course, just uh, pretty much making me more nervous uh, with each passing stroke. But I felt pretty confident. I've uh, used the Wicked Edge system for a few years now and uh, just kept doing my thing. So I handed him the knife. He began cutting the cured ham into super thin paper slices. And of course, there was a big smile on my face. And uh, when I asked him what he thought, his word to me was awesome. <laughs> so it was kind of cool to hear the word awesome and at the same time know that he was uh, very happy. And he was very grateful that his knife now had a wicked edge. He was actually so impressed that he asked me where he can purchase one of these wicked edge systems so that he could have these razor sharp knives on a daily basis. 
regardless of the language that is spoken in that country, Wicked Edge seems to be universal.